Drain is spotless. Gotta fix that really quick. Now that we got that done, we are gonna go revisit the condenser that didn't wanna hold the vacuum and see what's going on with that. Was, was that it the whole time? Well, I'm glad I found it, but this raises up a whole new set of problems. Duh. You know what I could do? I could use the 410 to charge the line set. Not fully charge the line set, but enough so it has positive pressure under it. Um, enough so I can remove the cap, open the valve, and fill the system, and put the cap back on. Um, gonna have to leave a note though that it doesn't hold that well. gonna say man those breezes look pretty good to me the suspense is killing me hope it'll last way better progress than I got uh, a couple days ago. It would pull down way quicker if it was a brand new line set, but because there was still oil, means there's still residual refrigerant, you know, trapped in that oil, probably in the evaporator coil. So we're gonna have to give this a lot of time. You know what would be awesome right now? While I'm, while I'm waiting for the system to pull down into a vacuum. If I had a nice microwave, I could warm up a bowl of like gluten-free mac and cheese. And if I had a hammock hanging in the middle so I could chill out for a while. I just had a thought, maybe right here, I could take my veto bag and make either like a shelf or a hook. So, I can kind of back right up to it and put straps on and say when I go to take it off, I can just kind of either hook it on or put it on the shelf and then take like a, I like that, we're gonna do it. I also think if I take that shelf off the top of like one of these racks, I could put my other one up here and still have room to pull out my nitrogen and acetylene because this, the level this is at, it clears it in here, but I won't be able to actually, you know, rotate the tank and get it out. Also thinking about either making a shelf or taking a like the thin uh, Versabar Unistra, whatever you call it, so I can take my BX cables and kind of store them up here above the rolls of wire because this is kind of a wasted space.
I always do that. 57 degrees out, those numbers look pretty good. At this point, this is where I am gonna leave it. I'm gonna start packing up. All right, so instead of having lunch, I decided to pick up another service call because it wasn't too far. But also, it keeps blowing the fuses. Might make this an easy job. We look at it and say, nope, gotta replace the condenser. But not gonna know until we take a look at it. I don't think this is gonna take too long though. Famous last words as usual. So it turns out it's not the fuses outside that are blowing. It's the fuses, well, fuses, fuse in the air handler that's blowing. And since all it does is cooling, I've got two ideas what it could be. It's either the contactor coil or the thermostat wire running down to the contactor coil. Well, the contactor looks new, but doesn't mean much. I guess it could technically also be a, uh, looks like goes to a high and low pressure switch. I guess technically those could be bad too. I'm gonna disconnect the thermostat wire, basically to rule it out. Now when I go and change the fuse, or I, I have one of the resettable ones, um, if it pops, it's the thermostat wire. If it doesn't pop, it's something in this configuration. that keeps blowing. Let's power off. Somehow I lost the other wire connection, but it still works. Well, it hasn't tripped, it's a good thing. Let's go check, I think the contactor first. All right, so I'm gonna disconnect. Well, that was scary. The low voltage. So I'm going to take one side and my other. I see sparking a little bit, but it's not pulling in. So that might be the problem. I like that sound. Tingly. Moment of truth. Gotta put the disconnect in first. Ah. See that? I haven't seen that before. Yeah, I will. Okay, so instead of having lunch, I know, crazy, right? I decided to pick up another one, because I think it's gonna be pretty easy also. Might just be low on charge, and then that'll give me plenty of time. It's only like 1.15. Got the Rolls Royces in the garage too. Sweet view.
nice sweatshirt. Thanks, Scott. Too bad it's uh, an XL and I could barely fit in a medium, but it's the thought that counts. Okay, so turns out all that unit needed was heart start kit, which is never a good sign. You know, that typically means uh, the days are numbered on that compressor. However, he says it's only five years old. Doubt that because it's R22, but maybe, you know, it was lying around somewhere and, you know, someone gave it to him. Um, also, it was weird. The, uh, the heat and the AC were running at the same time because uh, the little jumper was still in the back connected uh, in the thermostat. Broke the jumper. Both of them are still running. Like, um, what? Turns out the thermostat came factory installed in, uh, in heat pump mode and on um, electric, uh, I think it was like electric two stage. Unless someone was playing around with the thermostat. Why? I don't know, who cares? Uh, yep, that's it for today. Not gonna have time to clean the truck or move anything over. So see you tomorrow.